A very good evening and welcome to State of Business, our television's primetime business news bulletin. I'm Madhusha Dhavapala Kumar. Let's take a look at the headlines first. President arrives in Seoul for state visit and export surpasses 1 billion US dollar mark in September 2017. Now the story is in detail. President Maitripala Sirisena arrived at the Incheon International Airport in Seoul this morning for a three-day state visit to the Republic of Korea on an invitation extended by the Korean President Moon Jae-in. President Sirisena is the third foreign head of state to make a state visit to South Korea since President Moon came into office in May. President Sirisena was received by the Vice Minister of Foreign Affairs, Cho Hyun, Chief of National Security, Chang A. Hyong and other dignitaries. Minister of Foreign Affairs Tilak Marapana and Minister of Primary Industries Daya Gamage, Sri Lankan Ambassador Manisha Gunasekara and DGs of the Foreign Ministry Kapila Jayavira and Varuna Bilpata are also accompanying President Sirisena. Moreover, Minister of Special Assignment Dr. Sarat Tamanugama and Minister of Power and Renewable Energy Ranjit Semalapiti also arrived with the President and two other ministers Malik Samaravikrama and Talatatha Korala are expected to join the delegation later. The visit takes place in conjunction with the 40th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between Sri Lanka and the Republic of Korea. President Sirisen is scheduled to meet with the Korean President Moon Jae-in at the Blue House, the official residence of President Moon tomorrow. And the two leaders will discuss matters of mutual interest to strengthen cooperation between the two countries. Meanwhile, agreements on Economic Cooperation, Economic Development Cooperation Fund and Cultural Cooperation as well as MOUs on Investment Cooperation and the Employment Permit System are to be signed between the two governments during the visit. President Sirisen is also scheduled to attend a business forum and engage in discussions with four major Korean business associations. Surpassing the 1 billion US dollar mark of monthly exports for the third consecutive month, the external sector performance has been driven by a double digit growth in exports in September 2017. However, the trade deficit expanded with higher imports of fuel and rice during the month. Earnings from tourism declined moderately during the month with a slightly lower number of tourist arrivals from key destinations compared to September 2016. The moderation in worker remittances continued in September, resulting in a noteworthy decline in workers' remittances in the first nine months of 2017. However, reflecting continuous investor confidence, the financial account of the balance of payments continued to strengthen during the month with higher foreign inflows to the Columbus Stock Exchange and the government securities market. Subsequently, the overall balance recorded a surplus of 2 billion US dollars by the end of September 2017. Meanwhile, gross official reserves increased to 7.3 billion US dollars as at end of September 2017 from 6 billion US dollars as at end of 2016. The deficit in the trade balance widened in September 2017, while the cumulative trade deficit during the first nine months of 2017 also expanded when compared with the corresponding period of the previous year. This was mainly due to the additional import expenditure incurred due to the drought that prevailed in the country. Earnings from exports, which grew since March 2017, continued its increasing trend in September 2017 as well. The leader of the Janata Vimukti Paramuna expressed his views regarding the postponement of the local government election by the authorities at a media conference in Bathramulla today. Api piligan na one ma kine kute ya masadar na ayiti ak sidhvi ti bina manam adikar na te yamar ti bina ayiti api petkishe pagaran ne ayiti piligan. Hebe api kisi seet ma piligan ne me ma gesat ni me dene pilibanda adikar ne vite. Yomuvim, Yuktiya sa saadar na to pili mandar pasne ak nevi mi. Me adikarane tamangi wank deshapal na woman aav win win upayogi karage niya. Me me tamant chandhe kal dama ge niya mas sadaha adikarane upayogi karage niya mat tamai me na du pevari mara siddhu. Eita nishchitle sir. 
ಶ್ರೀಲಂಕಾ ನಿಧಾಸ್ ಪಕ್ಷ ಮೈತ್ರಿಪಾಲ ಸಿರಿಸೇನ ಪಾರ್ಶ್ವ ವಗಕೆಯುತಿ ಮೇಕ ಜನಾಧಿಪತಿ ಮೈತ್ರಿಪಾಲ ಸಿರಿಸೇನ ಮಹಾತ್ಮೆಯಾಗಿ ಅನುದನು ಸಾಹಿತ್ಯವರು ಹೋಗಿ ಚಕ್ಕೋಲೆ ಅನ್ವಿಸಿ ಗುಣಕರ್ಲಾದ ನಡುವ ಎಣಿ ಸಾಧ್ಯ ಮೇ ಫಲಾತ್ಪಾಲ ಮೆತುವರ್ನೆ ಕಲ್ಯಾಮ ದೇಶಪಾಲ ನಡುವ ತೆಂಗ ಪ್ರತಿಬಿಣ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಲುಕ್ ಅಟ್ ಮೋರ್ ನ್ಯೂಸ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬ್ರೇಕ್ welcome back the institute of policy studies of sri lanka held a media discussion this morning on reforms to sri lanka's education sector based on their latest publication better schools for better ordinary level results in sri lanka the study reveals that there is a shortage for science technology engineering and mathematics subject teachers in sri lanka while there is a surplus of english teachers there is no shortage of um, teachers in sri lanka if you look at just the teachers who are teaching the subject as opposed to the teachers that are recommended by the ministry of education now um, the ministry of uh, Recom- uh, education recommends exactly how many teachers a school should have uh, based on the type of subjects that are being taught and the grades in a school but if you look at the um, uh, teachers who are qualified in a subject that is teachers who have either a degree or they have a special uh, teacher training in teaching a particular subject we we find that there is a shortage of teachers for mathematics and science but there is a surplus of teachers for english but if you look at the uh, availability of uh, qualified and experienced teachers we find that there is a shortage of uh, teachers for all three subjects so uh, part of the reason for this is the teacher training um, in the country is not uh, catering to the needs of the education system and um, also especially um, the um, at the university level the education uh, faculties are not uh, catering to the needs of uh, the teacher needs of the country so we recommend that um, money is allocated to expand teacher training at the university level um, according to the needs of the country especially with regard to science and mathematics um, given the fact that um, in the last government um, uh, budget that was presented for 2018 the government uh, wants to improve uh, stem education at the uh, university level The IPS study has also indicated that there is a significant impact of science, technology, engineering and mathematics education teachers on the ordinary level examination results as 45% of the students who sat for the ordinary level examination in 2015 have failed in mathematics. It was also recommended to have more faculties of education in state-owned universities in order to recruit more teachers. we found that in 2015 close to half of the students who sat for the o level failed due to failing mathematics so we uh, and also we found that this performance varies across different school categories with the better or more prestigious schools performing better and the others performing uh, worse so we wanted to examine whether there is a link between school resources particular teacher quality variables and performing well at the o level exams and we found that indeed there is a significant impact especially with regard to qualified and experienced maths and first language teachers to subjects which you have to pass at those levels in order to proceed for further education and we also found that these qualified and experienced teachers are more in better or prestigious schools while they are far less in worse schools we also found that uh, teachers who take large number of leave that is teachers who do not show a good level of commitment schools uh, with teachers like this perform worse at the o levels let's take a look at stocks after this break welcome back Trading at Colombo Stock Exchange ended on a negative note today. 
The all share price index dropped by 11.93 points to close at 6,405.22. And the S&P SL20 dropped by 12.15 points to close at 3,729.63. The turnover was 238.9 million rupees and 8.6 million shares were traded. Up next is Forex Rates. With that, we wrap up State of Business for the day. We'll meet you tomorrow at the same time with more latest news. Until then, take care. Good night.